Introducing the 2024 Toyota Prius Prime. I've got the premium in Guardian Gray. The Prius Prime plug-in and its conventional Prius sibling have undergone a remarkable transformation. Traditionally celebrated for their exceptional fuel economy, but criticized for uninspiring styling and lackluster acceleration, both models have received extensive makeovers. The Prius Prime now boasts a sleek and sporty exterior design, a refreshed and ergonomic cabin, and significant improvements in terms of range, efficiency, and power. With the ability to travel over 80 miles on electricity alone when the battery is fully charged, it outperforms competitors like the Kia Nero PHEV and Mini Countryman Cooper SE PHEV. Its estimated fuel economy in hybrid mode is an impressive 52 miles per gallon, surpassing the Nero PHEV. Under the hood, the Prius Prime packs 220 horsepower, making it one of the most powerful options in its class with quick acceleration. While the Prius Prime excels in many areas, it does have some drawbacks, which vehicle doesn't, including tight rear seats and less cargo space than some rivals. However, it has made significant improvements and stands out as a stylish, efficient, and quick plug-in hybrid. All 2024 models share the same hybrid powertrain, combining a 2.0-liter, 150-horsepower four-cylinder engine with a 161-horsepower electric motor generator. Power is delivered to the front wheels through an eCVT, which is an electronically controlled variable transmission. Although nothing to brag about, its 0 to 60 time is 6.6 .6 seconds, a significant improvement from the previous models, nearly 10 seconds, so that is something to brag about. Drivers can choose from three powertrain modes. You got EV mode for all electric driving until a battery is depleted, auto mode for efficiency with automatic power source management, and hybrid mode for standard blended hybrid operation. You also have the option to select from four modes that modify acceleration response, regenerative braking levels, and climate control settings. So eco for maximum fuel efficiency, normal for everyday driving, sport for increased acceleration response, and custom for personalized adjustments. Overall, from the outside looking in, the ride comfort is considered good with some audible wind and road noise, though not excessive for a small sedan designed for maximum efficiency. Okay, let's talk about interior design and technology as we head inside. This Prius Prime shares a traditional modern interior layout with the standard Prius Hybrid. It features separate infotainment and driver information screens, both designed for driver convenience. The overall interior feel is akin to that of a well-appointed mid-market model, although there's some criticism regarding the amount of hard plastic used. It's all up to you, I guess. The front bucket seats offer good bolstering, and the 60-40 split rear bench seat backs are adjustable. Overall, the seating is comfortable and supportive, though some road noise, again, is noticeable, but not overpowering. The passenger cabin volume is average for a compact sedan segment with excellent front leg room and best-in-class numbers. However, rear leg room is lacking, trailing the class-leading Kia Nero by a significant five inches. Headroom is also reduced throughout the cabin, impacting some cargo space. As a sedan-styled hatchback, this provides a decent amount of cargo space, offering 20.3 cubic feet behind the rear seats, slightly more than its predecessor. With the rear seats folded down, it provides 26.7 cubic feet of maximum space. If we talk infotainment and connectivity, it is equipped with the Toyota Audio Multimedia System, which features high-resolution screens that support pinch and zoom gestures similar to smartphones, voice control standard, and responds to natural language commands. The SE and XSE trims come with an 8-inch touchscreen and 6-speaker audio system, while the XSE Premium, which I have, features a 12.3-inch screen and 8-speaker JBL audio system. Manual controls are provided for lights, drive mode, heating and air conditioning, and audio volume. However, most functions are accessed through the touchscreen. All Prius Prime trims offer six USB-C ports with wireless charging available in the center console for the upper two trims. So to sum up, this 2024 Prius Prime represents a significant departure from previous generations. With its eye-catching design, impressive electric range, and lively acceleration, it competes favorably with rivals like the Kia Nero. However, if maximum cargo capacity and driving dynamics are a top priority, the Nero and Mini Countryman PHEVs may be more appealing. 
Nevertheless, the Prius Prime is a compelling choice for drivers seeking a combination of sporty styling, exceptional fuel economy, and competitive pricing. There's only three trim levels, SE, XSE, and XSE Premium. I have the top trim level. Beginning MSRP is 337. Top trim level is around 40,500. For more information on this vehicle, check out everymandriver.com. If you're looking for a good deal on a Prius or something similar, new or used, check out quotes.everymandriver.com. There's also a link below this video, quotes.everymandriver.com. The best deals broken down by zip code from qualified dealerships. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Adios. Today's video is brought to you by The Cold Plunge. Use discount code DAVE150 at checkout at thecoldplunge.com. Immediately save $150 off your purchase. That's DAVE150 at thecoldplunge.com. There's also a link below this video. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.